All right, we're going to have a go at painting a beautiful, whimsical Christmas wreath. And if you'd rather um, use a bit of a guide to make sure that your wreath is uh, lovely and round, feel free to sketch a circle before you begin. But I'm just going to be freehanding today. So I'm using a size four round brush from one of my watercolor kits. And likewise, using some paint from one of my kits, two jars of uh, water, so warm colors jar, cool colors jar, I've got some paper towel, and some watercolor paper. So I'm going to begin with some red on my brush. And I just got muddled up with which red I wanted, but let me just get this in place. Okay, so I'm grabbing my red on my brush. I'm activating it by adding water to the paint and just getting any excess off on the edge of my jar. I'm going to actually begin with my red Christmas bow. So I'm going to use a few brush strokes. Oh, that's a bit too diluted. So I'm grabbing some more paint on my brush to make it a bit brighter. Using a few brush strokes to create the middle of the bow. So I'm kind of doing a squarish kind of shape. Kind of, kind of. <laughs> um, I'll try not to say kind of again. But I'm going to now draw the loops of the bow. So I said draw, but I mean paint. Um, but I feel like when I'm doing these brush strokes, it's like I'm drawing with paint. So I'll do the first loop on the left hand side and then a second loop on the right hand side. And they will never be the same and that's totally fine. They kind of look a bit like floppy bunny ears at the moment. So now I'll draw or paint to the, um, oh gosh, what, what would you call this? Uh, the bottom bit of the bow. <laughs> I should have thought about the names before I started painting. But anyway, I'm painting two thick brush strokes to allude to the bottom parts of the bow, the dangly bits of the ribbon. <laughs> so there we have the bow that will be on the bottom middle of the wreath. And I'll just move that red paint aside and I'm going to grab some green paint now. So I'm using this same brush that I was using earlier. I've just cleaned it up and I'm now activating my green paint by adding water from my cool colors jar. Plenty of paint on my brush. I'm actually gonna dab off any excess. It's really, really concentrated to start with. And I'm going to do some really thin brush strokes using just the tip of my brush to create the circle shape for our wreath. So I'm actually going to go up that way as well. And they sort of change direction around here. You can do that in any way that you like, whatever way your hand wants to go to create your wreath. So this is sort of a rough outline and guide. Um, so I'm going to fill this in now with more brush strokes to fill it up and create more depth. So I'm going to use some really concentrated paint for some of those brush strokes to make it really, really dark. And I'm really just using the tip of the brush doing quite quick, messy brush strokes. I'm not trying to create anything perfect. If you're new here, you might not have heard me say this before, but if you've been around for a while, you know that there is no such thing as perfect. It's just about enjoying the process, having fun. And I really encourage everyone to embrace the mess. So now as I'm going, I'm starting to overlap some of these brush strokes a bit more, adding a little bit of a curve in too. And the paintbrush is quite dry, so I'm not working with heaps of water on my brush. Otherwise, if the brush was too wet, there would be a lot of um, water and paint flowing between the different brush strokes and it would kind of turn into a blob. And you'll notice that even though I'm still overlapping a lot of these brush strokes, uh, I am still leaving a bit of negative space or white space between them. So that kind of adds a bit more depth as well. And there we go, we have a beautiful, very whimsical, yet simple Christmas wreath. I hope you enjoyed this a lot. Please subscribe to my channel, Ruby Tuesday Art. And also, if you enjoyed this video, share it with your friends, maybe even chuck a comment letting me know what you think below.